we've ever stood on stage before. But we're here tonight to pay tribute to a very special man, and he's not going to enjoy this next bit. <laughs> the Generations concerts are possibly my favourite day of the entire year. They come right at the end of the year, at a time when our most experienced, perhaps most able, uh, students are leaving us to go on to glittering careers at college and university, and people wonder whether things will ever be quite the same again. And then we do these two concerts, and we realise that the talent and the depth of experience coming up behind them is really something quite special, and the future is going to be just fine. But it's true to say that absolutely everything you've seen and heard today, throughout the year and throughout the entire involvement of your time with the Musical Performing Arts Trust, has happened because of the vision, the determination and the leadership of one man. Peter Dunkley. And I'm sure by now you're all aware he's leaving us because he just told you. And it's horribly soon. And we're going to miss him, my man. Um, but before I talk about him, I want to talk about, I take time, a little bit of time to talk about someone else. It's often said that behind every successful man, there's an amazing woman. And the Dunkleys are no exception. Though Lucilla Dunkley won't be known to many of you, loads of you will actually have met her. She's the lady that's huddled in a coat, sitting in the drafty foyer of Cripps Hall, checking people in for the National Festival, while the rest of us are quite happily inside on the stage in the wall. Lucilla sits freezing in the entrance hall. She's playing a very quiet and supporting role in the background, allowing Peter to do what he has done, but we know that she is his rock and his support. We're going to miss her every bit, every bit as much as we miss him. We thank her very dearly for the loan of her husband for 23 years. We love her to bits, and we want to take this opportunity to say a very public thank you to a very private lady, Lucilla Dunkley. <laughs> 